For our last server component pattern, let's explore working with context providers. You know from React that context providers are typically rendered near the root of an application to share global application state and logic. For example, the application theme. However, since React context is not supported in server components, attempting to create a context at the root of your application will result in an error. To address this, you can create a context and render its provider inside a separate client component. Let's dive into VS Code and understand this with an example. In the Next.js application, the root file is layout.tsx in the app folder. Here, let's create and provide a theme context for our entire application. So import, create context from React. We are going to define the theme type. So it's going to be colors, which is an object with primary and secondary colors. We define the default theme which is of type theme, primary and secondary. And then const theme context is equal to create context of type theme. And the initial value is default theme. And finally, in the root layout JSX, we wrap the body tag with theme context dot provider. Value is going to be the default theme, and we close theme context dot provider. If we save the file and head to the browser, we see an error. You're importing a component that needs create context. It only works in a client component, but none of its parents are marked with use client. So there are server components by default. To resolve this, we could convert layout.tsx to a client component by using the use client directive at the top. We also need to make sure we comment out metadata in a client component. Our home page now renders. However, this approach signals to Next.js that this component, which is the layout file, along with any component it imports, is intended for client-side execution, which is not what we want. To fix this, we need to create our context and render its provider inside a separate client component. In the components folder, create a new file called themeprovider.tsx. Since we have seen the code already, I'll paste the code to save us some time. We have the theme type, the default theme, and theme context creation from before. We then export a theme provider component that returns theme context dot provider with the default theme as its value. It will then render the children props. I've also imported the use context hook at the top and exported a use theme hook that returns the theme in any consuming component. The most important step is to include the use client directive at the top of the file. Back in layout.tsx, we can now replace all the newly added code with the theme provider component. So remove the create context import, the theme type as well as the default theme, and the creation of the context. In the JSX, we can now wrap our body tag with theme provider, which we can import from components slash theme provider. And to make sure this works, in the client route page, which is a client component, let's consume and use the theme context. So const, theme is equal to use theme and we can return an h1 tag client route where we set style as an object with color 
theme.colors.primary. In the browser, if we navigate to localhost 3000 slash client route, we should see client route in the primary blue color. If we change to theme.colors.secondary, we see it in gray. It is important to note that even though we wrap the rest of the application within a client component, server components down the tree will remain server components. We will discuss this in an upcoming video, but this is essentially how you work with context providers and server components. You don't convert a server component to a client component. Instead, you define a new client component and invoke it within the server component using children props. All right, let's dive into client component patterns next. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.